Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everybody, looking at SPY on the daily and weekly time frame and we had a significant clear bullish break above that 210.92, a little bit of a double top that formed with last week. So the bulls are in control, higher lows and higher highs still maintained. Volume, it's becoming a bit repetitive at this point, but volume for the bulls is just non-existent on this move to the upside. But as long as the price action keeps continuing, the bulls are in full control and I assume it has a lot to do with the Fed interest rate and it certainly makes me feel like the markets are propped up but not going to fight the bulls here as they are buying the dips and continuing to set higher highs. The weekly chart here on stockcharts.com they adjust for a dividend and splits and things like that that artificially influence price so we are showing SPY here at the all-time highs which obviously not the case with the S&P 500 so I'm going to start looking at SPX the S&P 500 cash levels for key resistances. And we can see that today we did break above the high 21.1105, but we did not close above that level. So as far as I'm concerned, that is still a resistance level to keep an eye on. And the next resistance is 21.1648. It's still a lower high pattern. If we don't break 21.1648, that will certainly throw a wrench in the gears of this bearish longer term downtrend of lower highs that we have been seeing. So 21.1648, if that level breaks, I would say the odds of seeing new all time highs in the S&P 500 this year significantly increase if that resistance breaks. So that's what we're going to be watching. We are currently negating the bearish reversal doji from last week. We do still have four trading days left to go. So we will see how we end up shaping up today or this week, but as of right now, bulls in full control. Clear support for SPY is the 10 day moving average, which the low of the day Friday bounced off of 209.46 currently. And that also formed a little bit of a double bottom with the low of Wednesday and Friday, 208.89, 208.86. So some clear support levels to keep an eye on and clear resistance on the S&P 500 weekly chart and we'll see if the bulls can keep this momentum to the upside. Certainly a soap opera of drama with the Fed and their decisions on rates and how one report can have an effect on it. Certainly very interesting and even if you aren't playing in this market, which I don't fault you if you're not, if you're just learning technical analysis, by all means be paper trading and get a feel for things before risking capital. As I always say, you don't go to Vegas and sit at a real poker table to learn how to play poker. So why would you be playing with real money when you're learning how to trade stocks? So it's an interesting environment out there and it's certainly one that we're going to remember and we'll see where we're headed from here, but all signs indicating bullish. So I appreciate you watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. The Chart Guys community has compiled trader tips from dozens of traders over the last year and put together a free ebook you can access by clicking the button and entering your email. Have a wonderful night.